Hi and welcome to step 3 of creating high dynamic range images. This is a series of tutorials from Double Convex. Now, previous tutorials we have gone about taking a single raw image and creating multiple exposures and then taking those multiple exposures and creating a base HDR image and uh, here's where we're at. Base HDR image that we've opened up in Adobe Photoshop. Now this episode of the series of tutorials will run you through how to add a little bit more oomph onto the image. And a series of tips and tricks that you can do. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people do is they decide they're going to go ahead and use image adjustments curves. And they add another curve on top of the image. Essentially by doing that what you will do is that you will bring out certain tones and eliminate certain other ones. Curves can be a little bit confusing and unless you're very experienced at them and you have a good solid math background they can be kinda hairy. But that is one option. Uh, Photoshop 4 actually does have you uh, does give you options to preset the kind of curves that you want to look at. Uh, depends really on what uh, look you're going for. I actually wanted something that was going to really add a lot of oomph and rather going through this whole process of putting in curves manually I invested in a set of plugins from Topaz Labs and that set of plugins is called the Topaz Labs Topaz Adjust. When you install them in Photoshop they will show up as a set of plugins over here under the filter list from Topaz Labs. So the filter is Topaz Adjust and once you open up any image in Topaz Adjust you have the option of setting up any number of their presets that are set out here on the left and then take that preset and tweak with some of the settings on the right. Really how far you go the possibilities are endless but really it's taking this regular old HDR image and adding say either a crisp effect or a dramatic effect or even spicify it. The possibilities are literally quite endless. So it's really up to you as to what you want to make it do. But uh, we're going to go ahead and for our benefit we're going to use the dramatic oomph button and you can choose to go ahead and mess around with the exposure, the brightness and sunlight uh, and uh, highlights so on and so forth over there. Really once you're done go ahead hit OK and while well, Photoshop does this You'll notice that there's been a fair bit of noise that's come up, and we'll deal with that in our next episode. But here you go. You've got an HDR image with a very kick-ass rendering of what the colors and tones would like to, what I'd like them to look like. This, more tips and tutorials on my website at www.doubleconvex.com.